You wake up in a room with no windows or doors. The ceiling is extremely high, and the only way out is a closed hatch at the very top. Suddenly, the room starts filling with water. You've checked everywhere, there's no way to turn it off. You know that help is on the way, but they won't be here for at least 5 minutes. You're pretty sure the entire room will be flooded in two. You definitely can't hold your breath for that long. You look around and find three objects. A straw, some rope, and a bucket. Only one of them can actually save you in this situation. Which one should you choose, and how's it going to help? You should take the bucket. Flip it over and put your head inside when the water gets to head height. You'll have your very own small air pocket to help you breathe until help arrives. Uh Uh-oh, you're in a building that just caught on fire. You need to escape, but the fire just keeps spreading and spreading. You're feeling dizzy, and the smoke is making it hard to see. And the heat? It's insane! Suddenly, you see three paths that lead outside, but it's not going to be so simple. There's no fire near the first exit, but it's on the opposite side of the burning room. The second exit is right in front of you, but the upper part is completely covered in flames. The final exit is through the kitchen. There's shattered glass everywhere, but the flames are barely touching it, and the door is wide open. Which exit should you take? Even though the first exit isn't on fire, an indoor blaze is totally unpredictable. Flames can pop up out of nowhere. Going through a kitchen is never a good idea in a fire. There might be exposed gas lines in there. Your best bet is to go for the closest path and crawl your way to safety. Well, you're stranded in the middle of a desert and are in desperate need of water. You crawl along, trying to find any source to hydrate yourself. As nighttime rolls around, the wind gets stronger and it starts to get cold. You sit down next to a tree. How are you going to find water in the middle of a desert? Grab two of the largest tree branches you can find, and then rip your outer shirt and stretch it out over them, kind of like a sail. Shove the two branches into the sand to anchor them. The water in the atmosphere will get caught on the cloth and drip down for you to collect. Well, you're tied up on some railroad tracks and can't wriggle free. There's a train heading your way, and it doesn't look like it's stopping. Oh well, if you stretch your arms out, you can just reach a lighter, a small pocket razor, and a can of oil. Which can you use to escape? Pour the oil on the ropes holding you down. It'll act as a lubricant, and you'll be able to wriggle free. Taylor finished another awesome ice fishing session. He packed up his gear and walked back home with his dinner. Halfway back to the car, he realized he was being followed by a hungry cougar. It started chasing him. Taylor was so close to his car, but the cougar was gaining on him. What should he do? He should fling the fish to the side to distract the cougar. Then he should ditch all his gear. It's just slowing him down. That way, he's got a chance of making it to the car before he turns into cougar chow. Well, you find yourself in a pitch black room. The room is huge and there are many hallways and corridors leading to unknown places. You need to find your way out before the room starts heating up like an oven. You only have two minutes. You can feel some pipes on the wall but nothing else. How can you save yourself? When the pipes start heating up, they'll probably turn red. It'll already be super hot by then, but you'll have just enough time to figure out the layout of the room and find a way to escape. Angela decided to go for a nice walk in the forest. Mm -hmm. About an hour in, she tripped and spilled all her water. No problem, right in front of her was a tiny lake, and close by, a small stream and a cactus. Which one should you use to get herself a refreshing drink of water? She should head for the stream. That lake isn't moving. That means it probably has bacteria living in it. And a single cactus won't have enough water to quench your thirst. Even though the stream is pretty small, moving water is almost always the safest option. What are those things? Ah, paw prints! Those are bear tracks heading to the forest, a wolf print coming out of the forest, and some elk prints heading toward a lake. 
Well, what's the best place to go if you're not into the whole being eaten thing? Think fast! The bear going into the forest probably scared that large dog off. Oh, you thought those were wolf prints? Mm, not likely. Wolves mostly travel in packs. The bear is most likely chasing the elk, so they'll both end up at the lake. That means the forest's safe for now. You're stuck in a well in a small village, and the water's already up to your knees. There's a rope leading to the mouth of the well, but it's definitely not strong enough to hold you. You look around and find a bucket, some clothing, and a lighter. How do you escape? Shove the clothes in the bucket, tie the bucket to the rope, and light the clothes on fire. Then quickly hoist the bucket up. Chances are, in such a small village, someone will see the smoke and run over to help you. Kate finished her morning hike and decided it was time to go home. She saw a vintage jeep parked by the hiking path. While she was admiring it, a huge grizzly appeared in front of her. The bear didn't seem that interested in her, for now. But that could change any second. There was a large screwdriver on the floor by the jeep. What can she do to make sure the bear won't be interested in her? She can puncture the gas tank with the screwdriver and douse herself in gasoline. That way, the bear wouldn't be so interested in her scent. Eric was out camping and he needed some light to see in the dark. He reached into his tent, but his flashlight wasn't working for some reason and his phone only had 10% battery. He looked around and saw a bottle of water, an empty sandwich bag, his hiking boots, and a pillow. What can he do to make more light? He can take his phone and put it right next to the water bottle. The water inside the bottle will diffuse the light, making it much brighter. Adrian and Jack went rock climbing all day, then realized it was time to head home. After a long walk through the woods trying to get to their car, they realized they were totally lost. They'd never been in these woods before. They didn't have a clue what to do. What's worse, Jack collapsed from exhaustion and couldn't take another step. Adrian tried to lift him up, but Jack was too heavy. Night was approaching. He tried to call for help, but neither phone had any signal. His only choice was to venture out and seek help. He checked both gear bags and found a small pick hammer, some ropes, some sturdy locks, and a harness. What should he do? Adrian should put on the harness and tie all the ropes together to make one huge long one. Then he should tie one end to Jack and one end to his harness. That way, if he got lost in the woods, he'd be able to find his way back to Jack. That's one long rope. Nora's family was out for the day, and she was going to surprise them all with a triple chocolate raspberry cake. Right after plugging in her mixer, she heard a small pop, a fizz, then the electricity shorted out, and her precious mixer broke out in flames. Her phone was in the other room. Quick, help her! She's got to stop the flames from getting worse while she sprints over to get her phone and call for help. What should she do? She could take some flour and dump it all over the mixer. It'll tame the fire and buy her enough time to call for help. Roy went out for a small walk in the forest right behind his house. He was having a great time, chucking stones at trees and thump. He launched the stone right into a beehive. A swarm of bees flew out and started chasing him. His house was pretty far away by this point, and there were tons of bushes and shrubs in his way. There was a huge open field in front of him with a deep lake in the middle. Where should he go to escape the angry bees? Jumping into the water to escape from a swarm of bees doesn't work. They'll just wait right above you and sting you when you resurface to breathe. The trick is to run as far away as you can, head for the house, and shut the door, Roy. So, have you ever wanted to start a blog? Well, that's a sign. And this test will help you decide which type of blog will suit you best. Are you ready? Grab a piece of paper and a pen and record your answers. I'll let you know the results at the end of the video. Now let's start with your personality. Which three words would you say describe you best? A. Creative, resilient, perfectionist. B. Attractive, confident, creative. C. Active, adventurous, social. 
D. Kind, funny, sensitive. Or E. Smart, focused, determined. Do you have any hobbies? Pick it if it's on the list. If not, pick something that's closer to you and that you'd like to try. A. Cooking B. Music, photography C. Hiking D. Reading Or E. Computer programming Now, choose a color that best reflects your personality. A. White the color of peace and cleanliness. B. Royal purple is my choice. It's the color of wealth and nobility. C. Green is the closest to me. It's the color of life and nature. D. My color is happy and joyful yellow. All the best things are yellow. Sunshine, autumn, dandelions, and bananas. Or is it E. Blue? This color symbolizes inspiration, freedom, and harmony. Maybe you can relate to that. What's your favorite way to spend a Friday night? A. I like to stay at home, cook dinner, and maybe bake something as a treat. B. I go out with my friends and we have fun. C. Go for a walk and wander around the city, preferably somewhere new. D. I like to stay in bed with a book or a movie and some snacks. E. I meditate, do some self-care, and think of my plans and goals. Now tell me, what's your favorite social media? A. Reddit B. Instagram C. YouTube D. TikTok Or E. Twitter Think of your budget and the way you spend money. Aside from food and bills, what do you spend the most money on? A. Kinchin utensils B. Going out C. Traveling D. Books Or E. Online courses Now, pick your favorite food. Again, if it's not in the photos, just pick something that's more your style. A. Something fancy-looking like seafood B. Salads and healthy food C. Something creative from a different culture D. Pizza, yum or E. Coffee and croissant Now, just pick an outfit that represents your personality. Make your choice and don't forget to write it down. A. Something comfortable and homey B. Something fancy, expensive looking C. Outdoorsy D. Something neat and simple Or E. Office style Your birthday is approaching. There's a choice of five gifts you can receive. What will you pick? A. A set of new shiny pots. B. A gift certificate to a mall. C. A good and big backpack. D. A new set of books from your book list. Or E. Coffee machine. Out of these famous fictional characters, who do you think is more like you? A. Monica Geller from Friends B. Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby C. Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit D. Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter franchise Or is it E. Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons? What's your favorite vacation destination? A. A city life. Staying in an Airbnb, going to local restaurants, and getting to know the city. B. A cruise, where I can fully relax and take good vacation photos. C. Remote places where tourists don't usually go. D. A beach. There's nothing better than spending time at the sea or by the pool and watching a movie in the hotel at night. Or E. The mountains, where I can be by myself with my thoughts and come up with new ideas.
When you travel to a different city or country, what are you most excited about? A. Food! I love trying different cuisines. B. I love to dive into city life, visit restaurants and clubs, and of course, take many photos and post them. C. I enjoy the scenery and talking to the locals. I love to immerse myself in new environments. D. I love to wander around the city without maps and discover vintage stores and bookshops. Or E. I look forward to visiting museums and exhibitions. You're a traveler walking through the woods. You can go anywhere you want, and there are five roads waiting for you. Which one do you choose? A. I'll go towards the river. There's water and some fish I can catch. B. Towards the road. I don't want to get lost. The road means there's a city somewhere out there. C. I'll go towards the mountains. There must be beautiful scenery, and maybe there's a hiking trail. D. I'll go further into the woods and enjoy the experience. E. I'll just turn around and go back where I came from. I don't have time for this. You're on a vacation exploring old caves, and you find a magic lamp. You know what to do. Rub it! So you rub, and a genie appears. But what a bummer! The genie says that you only have one wish. Having three is a myth. What will you wish for? A. Unlimited supply of food. B. Unlimited amount of money. C. A teleportation machine. D. The ability to travel in and out of fictional worlds. Or E. The ability to freeze time. Now, imagine you got access to a time machine. Where would you travel? A. I would stay in my time. I would rather travel across space, not time. B. To the Victorian times, with fancy balls and dinners. C. I would go to ancient Egypt or Greece. D. I would go a century into the future. E. I would sell it or start giving tours. Imagine that you already have a successful blog. What would you be most pleased to hear about it and you from other people? A. I love your aesthetic and everything you post is amazing. B. You live an amazingly interesting life. I wish I could be like you. C. You have amazing content and you inspire me to try new experiences. D. Your content is interesting and fresh. I rely on you for your recommendations. Or E. You inspire me to grow and be better every day. I hope to be successful like you one day. Now, count your answers. Do you have more of A's, B's, C's, or D's? Then it's time for the results. So what type of blog should you start? If you have more A's than anything else, then you should consider starting a cooking blog. You probably like cooking or baking, and it's a great way to share your knowledge with the world and try something new. The blog will motivate you to be better and learn more about your hobby. If you got more B's than anything else, then you should start a lifestyle blog. You're probably a very attractive and open person living a very interesting life. You're sure to find many friends, admirers, or just people who will love watching you and learning about your life. Did you get more C's? Fun fact, it resembles my report card. (laughs) Well, I guess you live moving around, and traveling is your true passion. A travel blog is definitely a thing for you. You're a well-traveled person, and you can tell people about it, sharing your experiences and inspiring people to explore the world. Was D your most common answer? Then you could try starting a blog about books and movies. You could write reviews, post quotes, make recommendations, or just share interesting details about what you have noticed. It's up to your creativity, and you'll find a lot of like-minded people. Finally, if you pick most ease, then you should consider starting a professional blog on the topic you're qualified in or a productivity blog. You're a hard-working and successful person, so you could share your secrets and inspire people. It's always good to have someone to look up to, and you are a great role model.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Allison has two coins which total 35 cents. If one of the coins isn't a dime, what are the two coins Allison has? Well, one is not a dime, but the other one is a dime, so Allison has a quarter and a dime. Let's start with a couple of simple teasers to warm up your brain for today's challenge. The day before yesterday was the 17th. What is the day after tomorrow? If the day before yesterday was the 17th, it means that today is the 19th, so the day after tomorrow is the 21st. Wendy's birthday was yesterday. She turned 16 years old, yet she's turning 17 this year. How is it possible? Wendy's birthday must be December 31st, and today must be January 1st, already the new year. A family is on vacation, carelessly chilling at the beach all day long. They were drinking their iced cocktails when suddenly, the youngest daughter, Odette, asked, What day of the week is today? No one knew. The father said, I only know what tomorrow is, neither Thursday nor Friday. The mother said, and I'm sure that yesterday wasn't Saturday or Sunday. And Adele, an older sister, said, Today is definitely not Friday, not a Monday, and not a Tuesday. What day is today? Let's cross out all the impossible days. From Dad, we know that it's not Wednesday and not a Thursday. From Mom, we know that Sunday and Monday are also out. Adele said no to Tuesday and Friday, so it's a Saturday. Avery walked into a room and there were several doors there. On the first door, there was a sign saying, Lion's Den. On the second door, there was a sign saying, Mountaintop. On the third door, there was a sign with just a question mark. Still, Avery knew exactly where the third door was leading. Do you? The third door is the door Avery walked through, so it led back there. Once upon a time, there was a happy family living in a house in the shape of a dome. There was a mother, a father, their daughter, a chef, a maid, and a puppy named Oliver. One day, mother and father came back home and found out that Oliver had gone missing. They asked who was the last one to walk him, but everyone denied it. The daughter said, I was reading. The maid said, I was dusting the corners in the house. The chef said, I was a baking an apple pie. Who is responsible for Oliver's disappearance? The maid, there's no corners in a dome-shaped house. Mrs. Lawrence has three daughters, Ava, Bethany, and Chloe. She's about to have another girl. What do you think she'll name her? Riley, Daphne, or Ava? Mrs. Lawrence seems to follow the alphabet, so I bet she'll name her fourth daughter, Daphne. In the middle of a pond, there's a little island, and there's a butterfly sitting on a rock. If it swims north, it's two minutes to the mainland. If it swims east, it's three minutes to the mainland. If it swims south, it's one minute to the mainland. If it swims west, it's five minutes to the mainland. Which way should it swim? It shouldn't swim either way. Butterflies fly. 
Once upon a time, an evil witch kidnapped three women and turned them into rose bushes. One of the women begged the witch to see her husband before she left him forever. The witch agreed. She took the woman home for the night and returned her to her rose bush state the next morning. The woman had warned her husband, and the husband was following them to rescue his wife. Look at these three identical rose bushes. Which one is his wife? The rose bush that was his wife doesn't have any of the night's dew on the leaves. A married couple went on vacation. They locked up their house and gave the keys to a neighbor, along with instructions on what to control and maintain in the house. Just in case, the wife hid her jewelry in a safe place. While they were on vacation, there was a power outage in the house. There was no electricity for a couple of days, until the neighbor uh -oh. came back to check the house. The neighbor cleaned everything up by the time the couple got back. The wife couldn't find her jewelry. The neighbor swore that he didn't touch it. Where did the jewelry go? The wife hid them in a freezer. After the power outage, everything melted and the neighbor threw out all the food and jewelry as well by mistake. Now, a tricky question for you. What is the difference between electricity and lighting? You have to pay for electricity. Anna is bilingual. She speaks English and German. She had four exams to write, English, Math, History, and Geography. She wasn't prepared for them well, so she wrote all of them in German. All teachers returned her tests because they couldn't understand anything and suggested she write the test on a different day, in English. Still, one teacher could understand what she had written and gave her an F. Which teacher was it? It's the math teacher. Mathematics is all numbers, and they're the same in most languages. So the teacher could understand everything and check the exam. It's an early Monday morning. William and Daniel are both driving to work. Who is not being smart? Daniel, he hasn't fastened his seatbelt. It's not safe. James and Delaney are getting ready for a big family barbecue in the evening. James is cooking and Delaney is busy with all the decorations. Who is not smart? James, he's cooking in the direct sun and there's milk standing right there. It'll go bad very fast. Riley and Tessa are doing house chores. Riley is vacuum cleaning the house and Tessa is outside shoveling the snow. Which one of them is in danger? Tessa, look, she's standing right below big icicles hanging off the roof. Every day, a woman was seen crossing the border carrying bags of sand on a motorbike. After some time, the border police got suspicious and stopped her. But they found she had only sand in those bags, uh -oh. so they let her go. What was the woman smuggling across the border? The answer is right in front of their nose. She's been smuggling motorbikes. Jonas lives on a farm. He just bought seven horses. He's riding one of the horses, leading the rest to his farm. On the way, he's counting the horses he has, but he can only see six. Problem, he paid for seven. He takes off, walks away, and counts the horses again. Seven. Everything is correct. He hops up on a horse and keeps riding home. Midway, he's counting the horses again. Six. What do you think is his problem?
Jonas always forgets to count the horse he's sitting on. Grace and Hope are twins, and they like to mess with people. Grace lies on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Hope lies on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. One day, you walk up to them and ask what day it is. Both of them say, Yesterday was one of my lying days. Which day is it? It can't be a Sunday, because they both say the truth one Sunday, and someone is obviously lying now. So one of them is lying, and one of them is telling the truth. So it's either the first day Grace lies, or the first day Hope lies. So it's either Monday or Thursday. It can't be Monday, because in this case, both would lie saying yesterday was a lying day. So it's Thursday. Grace is telling the truth, and Hope is lying. Ben has an equal number of sisters and brothers, but each sister has twice more brothers as sisters. How many brothers and sisters are there in the family? There are four brothers and three sisters. So every boy has three brothers and three sisters. Every girl has four brothers and two sisters. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Hey, today we have three levels for you. Let us know later how many logos you will guess. First, I'll be showing you two. One is real and one is fake. You have to find the real one. Let's start out easy. Where is the real LG logo? It's this one right here. Have you ever watched Animal Planet? Find the logo. It's the one on the right. Now it's Visa's turn. Quite easy. Can you see it? Here it is. Next up, Icy Hot. Any guesses? This one, of course. Samsung is a famous one, so it's not a problem at all, right? It's the left one. Or Ida, what's your bet? That's the one. FedEx, what's your choice? Here it is. Another easy one for you, HP. Or maybe not so easy, let's see. This one. Nerf is a toy brand, can you guess it? Pick the left one. Chex Mix, what's the correct logo? Here's the right one. I'm still quite easy on you. Are you keeping up? Converse. Right here. Thoughts on Dell? This is the one. Maybe you don't eat it yourself, but if you have a furry pet, you probably know it. 
The next one is Purina. Show me the one. Here it is. What about Oracle? This one, of course. A and W restaurants. What do you think? What's the right logo? It's the left one. Sensodyne is a toothpaste brand. Have you seen it enough times to remember it well? Yeah, this one. What about Asus? Try to find the original one. That's the one. Where's the one and only Radio Shack logo? Here's the original. Do you see the correct Valvoline logo? Pick the left one. Six flags. Can you spot the right one? Here it is. Find the one of Bose. It's the one on the right. Here's another one for you, a harder one. American Automobile Association or AAA. Which one is it? Here it is. Do you know the correct logo for Lumen Technologies? It's this one. Next up, Jif. What do you say? It's the left one. Now it's time to find the correct Lenovo logo. That's the one. Okay, level up. We're changing the task a bit. I'll show you a logo and you must remember which company it is. Let's start way too easy again. What is this? Huawei, of course. What do you think this logo is? That's Dove, a soap. Another easy one for you. Hit it. Trader Joe's. Any thoughts here? Of course, that's Universal Studios. What about this one? YoPlay, a yogurt brand. Easy. Can you recognize it? Simply safe. This one is too familiar. Can you recognize it?
UPS, easily. What about this one? It's not a hard one. Nikon, that's for sure. Again, way too familiar. Can you match it with a brand? That's Tide. Do you know what this logo is? That's Elmer's. Seems vague, but you must know it. That's just Intel. Did you recognize it? There's one famous character who is obsessed with them. Eleven would guess it on the spot. Ego. Okay, what about this one? Tupperware. Good. Next up, this one. Thoughts? PBS. That's a broadcasting service. Concentrate and tell me what you think. That's GoPro. Good one. It's definitely getting harder. No more Asus and stuff. What's this one? General Mills. Any thoughts here? Play-Doh. An oldie, but a goodie. Can you remember it? That's a Walkman. Long time no see. Another one for you to figure out. Thoughts? McCormick, a spices brand. Do you think you know this logo? Of course you do. It's Bosch. What about this one? That's Whirlpool. Another one for you. What are your thoughts? That's Lancome. Moving on. What is this brand? Hard, but you know it. Mattel is a toy manufacturer. Do you think you know this logo? It's Polaroid. What's your call here? If you said Febreze, you're right. What about this one? That's Coleman. One more for you to recognize. What do you say? Black and Decker. 
Next up, this one. What is it? Downy for sure. Any thoughts here? It's not that hard. Of course, it's Hostess Cupcake. What about this one? Quite simple too. What do you say? That's Kodak. What do you say? Dawn. What about this one? Any ideas? Holiday Inn, a hotel chain. What are your thoughts? What does this stand for? Old Spice. Do you recognize it? Starkist. It's a tuna brand. Concentrate and you can guess it. It's not too hard actually. Burt's Bees. What's your best guess here? It's Ziploc. What about this one? What do you say? That's Bissell. Next up, this one. What do you say? Trisket, of course. Think carefully. Can you remember this one? Charmin. This one is hard, but it's an important one. Thoughts? That's the logo of Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Level up, a new task. I'll show you just parts of a logo and you must guess the brand. Don't worry, we'll start with easy ones again. Look, here's one. You know it if you're not sure yet. It's a part of a very well-known brand. That's Apple, of course. What do you think this is? IBM. Ideas? Kleenex. What about this one? That's Tostitos. Do you recognize these letters? Brox, of course. Any ideas here? Fujitsu. Yeah, it's not a hard one. Can you remember it?
That's just Pampers. Another little part for you to recognize is the whole logo. That's an A. But what's the whole one? ATI. What about this one? Ace Hardware. The last one, just focus. You know the company. That's Paramount. So what's your score? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.